Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to this pretty special video which I've got in store for you guys. I'm going to have a few of them over the next few days, but uh, of course, guys, if you're wondering what's going on with the videos, I haven't uploaded anything for a while. That's because recently, over the last four days, I went to the EB Games Expo over in Sydney, which was awesome. I got to play and meet a couple of you guys, which was fantastic in FIFA. Got to play a couple of pro FIFA players as well. And I got to play the guy that you're looking at right now in the top right-hand corner next to me in the blue shirt, the blue Sydney FC shirt. And you may know who he is because uh, whether you're an A-League fan or a Sydney FC fan, he might look familiar to you because that is, he is Mitchell Malia, who is, of course, a Sydney FC player himself. And uh, yeah, so I actually got to play him. He came on down, did a little bit of a hanged out with us in a, in a EA Sports live stream that, um, that of course, was at the EB Games Expo. And afterwards, we, I just said to him, hey, do you want to get a game? And he said, yeah, sure. So... There we were, of course, he's picking it, uh, Sydney FC, I'm picking Adelaide United, of course, it would only make sense, because uh, even though I probably don't follow the A-League as well as I should, of course I support the Adelaide United team, because I am from South Australia, so of course, who else can I support? Anyway, but um, yeah, and um, I would have audio for you guys, because of course, I did film this on my camera, but uh, the, of course, the event was uh, very, very loud, and the, uh, even though we were very pretty close to the camera, I mean, you could barely hear us, and I could turn it up a little bit, but then it would just be absolutely littered with background noise, and uh, you know how it is. But um, uh, yeah, I decided that uh, you can see here, Marley are actually getting a pretty early break. Tried to, I think maybe, I don't know if he tried to chip it in that top left-hand corner or across the enemy, who knows. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I was Sydney FC. Oh, he was Sydney FC. I'm Adelaide United, and of course, uh, as much as I would love to show you... Uh, or share with you the audio of uh, me and him talking and just some of the guys in the background because uh, some, of the, some of the stuff was actually gold. But uh, no, unfortunately, you stuck with me commentating here because it's the best audio that you're probably going to get. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to commentate this game as if it were any other. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Of course, this what you're looking at right now was the first real attack. Newman, maybe a finesse pass the keeper, couldn't manage it. And uh, Sydney FC tried to pass away, but it was intercepted by uh, Gite there, I think. That's, oh yeah, Brigitte or whatever. But uh, he tried to have a shot and unfortunately couldn't uh, make that happen either. Making his goalkeeper work pretty early. It is a corner. I can see here, I think um, these were a few of Mitch Marley's mates or just someone he was hanging out with. And uh, they were obviously distracting him because have a look at this. He turns back. Oh no, what have you done, mate? It's a goal. The first one in the 13th minute. And uh, I'm just, I think if you rewind it back, maybe you might be able to. You might be able to sort of lip sync or lip read what I was saying there. I'm just like, mate, do you want me to score an own goal? Because you weren't really paying any attention there as he tries to really let me in. Uh, kind of still somehow gets the ball back. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was the first goal. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to try to ruin or I won't try to give away what the scoreline or who's going to win this game is. But um, either way, I'll get back on track anyway. Because look, a through ball. He brings out his keeper. I try to chip him. Oh, surely not. Oh, sh oh wow. And look at the reactions uh, in the top right-hand corner. Look at that. Face cam reaction, brilliant stuff. Marley was impressed, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely get a replay of this. I think I actually, um, I did, as a matter of fact, went back and uh, recorded it. Because look at just where that lands in the top left-hand corner. I thought, have I put too much on it? No, I haven't. It's one of the, it's a perfect chip. I don't normally chip them myself. But yeah, let's get a replay of this. Look at how much I'm slowing down the vision. It just gets in the top left-hand corner. Beautiful little, like literally like only a millimeter or two away from actually clipping the crossbar. So that's a damn good chip. That was really, that was probably one of the best goals I scored at the entire expo, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I was quite proud of that goal. And of course, you can see here, Jake Barker Daish on the ball, passing it around, trying to get it into my striker, Gite. Another shot, saved again, falling to one of my guys. And again, we're going to try for another tack, another tackle. Keeps getting the ball, keep with possession. Newman, who scored a beautiful chip earlier, tried to cross it in, somehow managed it. And uh, unfortunately, nobody was there. Del Piero on the ball, just walking away. And I know that forward pressure. What's he doing? Not paying enough attention. And smashed in by... Okay, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm not even going to try. I won't even try because I don't... I actually have no idea. But uh, yeah, I really need to focus. I really need to learn my A-League players, especially bloody my team, Adelaide United. Come on. But uh, he scores a third goal. And it was sort of kind of getting out of hand at this point, as you can see. It's yet another attack for Adelaide United. Some good passing move, of course, yet again through the corridor and a through ball. And it's one on one with the keeper, finesses it, and somehow the keeper went the wrong way. It's a little bit ridiculous. And watch the top right hand corner. I'm turning around to uh, one of the community managers at EA, Chris Bowden, and I'm just pretty much informing him hey, mate, I think goalkeepers are still broken. And uh, everyone's having a crack. Everyone's having a crack at it. It's kind of funny, as you can see here. This is a good angle. And there you go. And you can see a few chuckles in the back. You can see a few chuckles in the top right-hand corner. That's fantastic. But uh, yeah, we went into halftime at 4-0. So uh, yeah, I was kind of... It was a one-way sort of traffic, as you could say. But uh, to be honest, in the second half, I kind of tried... I, I tried to let Mitch Malia score a goal without making it seem too obvious that I'm actually 
like, you know, just letting him score because I actually kind of felt a little bit bad after a while. But, um, oh, well, what can you do? I mean, to be totally honest, I mean, credit to him because he still made some pretty good chances for himself, like Del Piero with a long shot and just unfortunately going wide. And I'm like, oh, come on, get in there, son. I'm actually cheering on, I was cheering on a few of his goals at some point. And, uh, of course, kick him while he's down. He was getting a yellow card as well. But, uh, oh, well, too bad. But um, that being said, because I tried to win a little bit easy on him and scored and tried not to score as many goals, the, the second half wasn't really too exciting. There was one more attack. There was one more real highlight. As you can see, I'm on the attack yet again. Mitch Marley putting on the pressure and, of course, resulting in a corner. And, uh, yeah, I'm lining it up, whipping it in. It goes to Bogard, who, as I have been informed, is meant to score goals at the other end, not actually putting corners. Because, as you say, keep your eye up... Uh, just up in the room, of course, in the top right-hand corner. Everyone's laughing like Bogart. Isn't he meant to score? He scores all the own goals. What are you talking about? So, um, oh, well, it's just, uh, I felt kind of silly, like, being totally misinformed. But, uh, oh, well, what can you say? Yeah, it was a fifth goal, and that was really all the goals that were in the game and pretty much everything that happened. And, uh, yeah, the game ended up finishing 5-0. So, uh, there you go. And, of course, guys, before I end the video, I will say really quickly, Mitch, if uh, somehow you do end up winding up uh, watching this video, then, of course, it was great to meet you, and it was a good game. So, uh you're a top bloke, and uh, best of luck for the season, of course. The A-League season starting up very soon. And, uh, of course, to you guys, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll be having uh, plenty more games of like, like this one uh, against uh, pro players. So I'm going to get my ass kicked. That'll be good fun anyway. And uh, I actually give them a fair challenge, so keep your eye open for that. As well as uh, continuing on with uh, Chris Powell's career mode. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.